Hi there, it's Ross here from TMC Motors, and today we're looking at this Ford Ranger finished in black. I'm going to do a walk around the vehicle and show you some key features, details, and cosmetics. So starting here on the front, there are a couple marks, as you'd expect with any used vehicle, such as stone chips and scratches. Here. But again, with any used vehicle, you're going to expect to see some of these marks on vehicles. Down there, maybe a slight little corner just there. Now coming across, look at the grill, that looks good. You've got no cracks or anything like that in there at all. And there are some slight scuffs just along here. But again, nothing too major. Looks like it's maybe got caught a few times there as well. And then one just up there. Now looking down here at the alloy, we've got four alloys on this vehicle, so it's got a full set. And we will be looking at each one. But this one's looking good as well, as you can see. Mark, but nothing too major on there. Back coming to the back here. Looking down this, there is, does it like, again, it's got caught along here. Bit of a scuff along there, going down. So you can see. Now coming along and look at the depth here. That's looking really good. And now we're just gonna look at the passenger door as a whole. You've got a couple of marks on the here as well. You know, sort of denting or anything like that, as we can see, looking down the side here. The shape is still good of that. It's just those light scratches that we do see. Let's have a look inside the vehicle. Here we are. So you do have the Ranger get there. We can hear a light mark on the glove box there. Now turning our attention towards the seating. You've got the full leather interior in here. And as you'll see as we go around, the interior is looking really good. And I'm gonna look at each seat and open up each door as we go. Here we are, we've got the rear passenger door on the passenger side as well. A few markings down there. Get a bit closer to them. There we are. But again, used vehicles, so it is lightly marked in some places. Let's open this and have a look at the back of the passenger seat here. As you see, looking really good. You've got no marking on that. Very clean, very tidy. And look at the rear here, the rear seating light mark in there, and just down there as well. But aside from that, looking really nice and healthy. I'll turn around to the rear quarter here and then the rear load canopy. But we just go across this wheel arch first and then work our way up. Looking really good there, as you can see, and the same for the alloy there. That's in brilliant condition, as you can see there. And now looking along the top here of the rear quarter. Again, looking really nice going down that, see if there's any things or dents, but it looks like the shape of this is really good as well. Now looking at the rear load canopy here, working our way up and along the, you see that's looking very healthy as well. Now onto the rear, the rear bumper, and we're gonna go across and look at the tow bar as well. That's in great condition. See the lightly mark, but nothing too major. And now turn our attention to the tailgate of the vehicle. You can see again, a few marks as we go across. A few scratches there as well. And then working our way along the bottom of the tailgate, you see we're gonna pick up on a few things as we go across. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the rear load canopy and have a look. There's the truck, opens nice and easy. Here's a ding here. And then a few more as we do go across, chips and such too. But these usually do see the brunt of the action is the top of these tailgates. Being a truck, probably from day to day loading and unloading. But in the bed of the truck here, you see that this is really great condition. Even along here for you, which again is one of the places you do see a lot of dings, but it's looking really good along there as well. I'm just going to shut this up and continue around the bodywork. Light mark just there. But aside from that, I think it's another good quarter. Scratch along there, you can see. But in terms of dings and dents, same as the last one. Kept it shaped very nicely and there is another scratch just there, but we're going to work our way up 
Count it for them down there as well. This one. And work our way around there and look at the alloy too. Now look at the reload canopy. You can see. Then open this up in here and have a look. So there we are. Rear of the driver's seat there. Moving on to the passenger seat, you do have a slight mark here on the rear passenger seat, and then you're going to look at these as a whole as well. And there we are. Now moving down here to the driver's door, light marking down there. And have a look inside as well. Finish up on this front driver's side. Really good down there. Slight cracking here by the electric adjustable, but really common in Ford Rangers. Happens to about nine out of ten of them. Um, and you've got 45 miles on the clock, which we'll just see down there. And here we go. You do have heated front seats, working AC. It's a manual if you did not know. You have a rear camera and sat nav on that as well. Now finishing up here, a light mark just there, looking along this wheel arch we have done already but just finishing up and then looking at the alloy to finish there, you see that's in great condition like the other three as well.